shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. It's Sunday again, time for another video. I hope you've all had a cracking weekend. This week's video is all about something that is, it's just invaluable. And that is the Ranger Band, often referred to as the EDC Band, a Ranger Band, a Field Band, a Bloody hell, I need a band. Anyone got a band? Band? There's so many uses for this. Whether you're a hardcore bushcrafter, whether you're a hardcore EDCer in an urban environment, if you're in the forces and you know it's being used super tactically, whatever it is, this is possibly one of the best and most versatile things that you can have in your EDC. Now, it's probably less of an, you know, an in pocket or on body carry. I carry these constantly. I have three or four of them set up just like this. Um, and I keep them in my bags, which is why, you know, I've got quite a few different bags out there. Not like hidden out there. You know what I mean? Um, so let's go into what it is, how you make them and a couple of examples of some uses. <laughs> we also have some magpies with us today, hence the <coughs> noise. So, um, <laughs> hey Mrs. Magpie. So, a ranger band. A ranger band is, well, it's a, it's a tire in a tube from a bike. It's all that it is. So, if you've got one lying around and you're just about to throw it away, stop! Don't, because, you know, yeah, it's going to be useful for this video. But if you haven't got one lying around, just go and buy one, get a kid's one. Um, it doesn't matter the size of it. You can have it on a 29 inch wheel. You could have it on a, I don't know, 22 inch wheel. It really doesn't matter. As long as it is a tire, a bike tire in a tube, it just works. And how to make it, or at least how I do it, at least. I've seen lots of people cut them to size, but then you just have lots of them lying around. So what I do is, I get the tire in a tube and I cut them so that they're say two or three inches or seven, eight, nine, ten centimeters long. And then what you can do with these, and this is why I have them in these kind of bundles, is make one, make another one, and then poke it inside it. So here I've already cut a few pieces off this bit, so you know put it inside there, and again fold it up, put it in, and there you've got so you've got a bundle of bands that you can cut to size and that's the best thing about these so when you get an elastic band an elastic band generally is a certain width but with these if you want a thicker one to use it more as a sheath then you can do you can you've already got these made for you if you want something that's nice and thin so that you can use it to wrap around something or you need it to stretch when they're thicker and longer like this you know, they're, they're harder to pull, which is absolutely perfect in some situations. But if you want something that's more malleable that you can pull, you can wrap and twist and wrap and twist so that you can get it around a smaller thing, then you just cut it to size. And, you know, not to patronize, but if you've got some scissors or a knife, you need a new one, you just cut it and there's your next range band. Um, again, this will get used, so I'll turn the camera around now and I'll show you some examples. So as far as uses are concerned, they, it, you are limited by your own imagination with these. So I've got a few different sizes here that I've already cut just to give you some examples. So some of these are examples that I've seen people doing. Some of these are examples that I've done myself. So let's say, for example, for some strange reason, you've got a dozen cards or so, and you need them to be held together. So these fit perfectly around a dozen cards. So I don't know, let's say for some unknown reason, something does happen to your wallet, you've got a billfold or something like that. I've seen people use these purposely just because they want to have a minimal carry and you know it fits in there's a dozen cards you can f slip in some cash also here I've got a pound and a two pound coin they'll fit in as well just in case for some you know you need change and it, it 
dang it. It holds them in reasonably well. <laughs> but maybe you've got, you really are trying to condense down. You've got a cadet, you can put that in there as well. And it's just a simple way of holding some cards together. So there's your first example. Now, another one that I tend to come across quite a lot is the fact that when I'm working in my job, I have lots of leads and things, and a lot of these things do come with, quite usefully, these sort of um, cable ties. But what I do find is when I'm abroad and I'm on site, these always tend to get lost or I get given new equipment, I get given new cables and then that means that that's more that I need to try and keep hold of and I tend to end up in situations just like this where I've got quite a large bulky cable and I've got nothing to hold it together. So with a smaller one, you can definitely do it with this but what you'll find is because you can't you can't wrap this round a couple of times it just gets, you know, it rattles around in there. Whereas as if you have a small one you can easily put this round, double wrap it, there you go, and it's round again. So you're trying to find something, you need to do this quite quickly, and there you go, you can have this, putting that in your bag. I've also done this in the past with um, a few mice, mouse, with a mouse, or mice, I suppose, yeah, that's plural. Um, so that, you know, it's annoying, you put your mouse in your bag and generally the cable always ends up coming around. You can wrap your cable around the mouse, put one of these around it, and then that will hold it all together. Or even wrap it separately, put it underneath the mouse with the mouse on top, put this round, it works perfectly. You'll find that a lot of the applications for these sort of things really do revolve around keeping stuff together and, and that's perfectly why these are so useful. If you've got long hair maybe, you want to wrap your hair somehow, then again you can use this for this, you can wrap it around a couple of times um, and it will, it will keep your hair safe if you happen to have long hair. Another perfectly good use. One of the other things that I do carry quite a lot are Altoid tins. I mean, this is the one that I use for filming that I keep just odds and bits and bobs. The, the cable that I'm using here, um, I keep in one of these tins. There's no reason why I should, you know, it, it stays closed quite well, but just to make sure, I always have one of these wrapped around it to make sure that whatever's in there doesn't come out. Um, excellent for that kind of stuff there's lots of other things that i do wrap it round just for security similar to this because i don't want it to open like this for example so this is a gopro session camera and this little cradle that i keep it in so that i can use this for different types of filming this often just kind of pings out i don't think it's necessarily because it was designed poorly it, it just happens to pop out every now and again so what I do is I have a smaller one of these that I can wrap around this and it's it's almost twofold what it does does is it stops this from opening to make sure that it's always secure and never falls out but what it also does is because you have this small rubber almost like a gasket well it's, it's not a gasket it doesn't seal it as such um, but you have this round it adds a small amount of knock protection um, if this was to get hit and that, again that is another great use for these and that is because it is a small piece of rubber it's excellent for protection so here's a slightly wider one um, what I often find is with this small hip flask that this often comes off, I can put this across that seal there and it stops it from coming open, open and it also adds a little bit of seal um, and protection. But sometimes, because I do worry about this a little bit more, this was handed down to me from my grandfather, putting a wider one on there, now I'm not going to struggle with this now purely because it's it's a bit of a you know it's a bit of a deal to get it on but once it's on and it's over the cross here if you did have a did have a wider one the 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 drop protection that this gives it is is invaluable because you know I'd be gutted if they're smashed but another way in which you can use these to help protect things and again 
don't judge me on this. So this, I was helping my father to clear out my granddad's house after he had passed away. Uh, and this is one of his old axes. So, you know, I'm going to restore this and put it back. But again, for you bushcrafters out there, I have seen this being used where you get this along, maybe have a wider one so that you can have it at the top, maybe the leather shoe, the leather part at the top's come off there. You want to use it so that one, you get some extra grip, and two, you want to be able to protect the top of your axe handle here. Perfect for that. For extra grip, I've also seen these used similar to wrapping tape around the end of a hockey stick where, where say you might have say three or four of them around the end this axe handles become very smooth at the end um, so you can have these say two or three layers of them wrapped around the end maybe have some 550 paracord wrapped around it as well and then add a few more layers onto it and it really does creates that kind of grip at the end of an axe to make sure that it doesn't slip out of your hand also because it's rubber and it's a it's a it's a natural substance it, it tends to wear less on your hands so you get less calluses um, while we're looking at this from the bushcraft side uh, a lot of you probably will recognize this as the the more robust um, another perfect use for this is um, this particular model doesn't have any sort of attachments that you can then pimp this knife up to be able to add maybe a fire steel to this or another knife or something that you might want to complement this with maybe have um, a compass or something attached to that maybe some matches anything like that you can add one of these to it oh sorry i was just reaching for my pen then because i realized that i hadn't brought out my fire steel pop it in and then there you go it's always together with something that that you're carrying it's perfect for things that complement each other to make sure that they always stay together another use that i have seen and have also used myself is these smaller mora knives although i mean it, it's designed Purposely as a neck knife with a, a lanyard through there so that you can just pull it out if, if you want to stab myself in the finger That was well done um, But they're also really useful to be able to be stored on Something like a harness system So if you have a harness system that there's no way that you can fashion this to it There's no reason why You can't put that round there Unstrap un your harness system, put it through there so that it's always conveniently on a sternum strap, it's always conveniently on one of your shoulder straps so that you can take it out, put it back in when you need it. As I mentioned, you know, the use of these really is limited by your own imagination. If you can think of a way to use these, then well, generally they are perfect for that. Now, another one that I'd, I've also used myself is it's great when you get a new pack so let's uh, let's move this around it's great when you get a new pack but you find out you know there's a lot of loose cables and you know you see a lot of new packs that have cable management systems on there so that you can uh, you can wrap your cables up or at least you can wrap the excess of cables up so you know i've quickly unbuckled that i'll probably find that this is a bit stretched now because i've wrapped it around a few things but wrap your cables up so I was doing that slightly off camera. So there's all of your cables, put it back in, get your range band, pull it over your excess, and there you go, connect it back on. If you need to adjust it, you just unroll it, you know, adjust it, put it back, job done. You wanna take it off, you pull it off. It's not one that, you know, a lot of the manufacturers like to keep them on there which it makes perfect sense because you, you don't want it coming off but if it is something that you need to use so it's nice and versatile you can take it off if you want to you can take it off and there you've got another way in which you can use one of these on a on a bag or something like that which will which will be able to help you so there you go possibly one of the most versatile things I, I don't know would you class it as a tool it's something to wrap round tools it's something to hold things together but i guess it's a tool so so yeah it, it, it really is one of the most versatile things that you can have if you've got some of these 
or at least if you've got a, a, a tire, an old bike tire lying around, do not throw it away. Cut them into three or four little stacks like this. Make four or five of those and have them in each of your different bags, no matter what type of style of bag or whether you're, as I say, whether you're urban carrying, whether you're backcountry carrying, or whether you're just flying out on X mission. You know, keep these with you and yeah, they, they will, they just help so much. Yeah, they're massively useful. So there you go nice short video today um, if at any point you've liked this video then please feel free to mash that like button it really does help with the YouTube algorithm hit subscribe and the notification and I'd love it if you could share this you know that's that's how I get to build my community as far as communities are concerned look for me on Facebook uh, morelander underscore EDC probably look for me on Instagram first because I generally tend to be on Instagram more, Morelander underscore EDC. And for now, stay safe, stay Morelander and stay EDC. <coughs> Shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good weekend and I have already had a good week. It's Sunday and I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Should we start again? Let's start again. Don't forget to smile.